Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, we're making Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas. This is one of the most requested fairy doll tutorials I've received, so I was really excited to do this tutorial. I love Sally, I love The Nightmare Before Christmas, and I thought this would be a fun tutorial to do for Halloween and pretty much all year. So let's grab some supplies and get started. Now the first things you're going to need are your basic fairy doll making supplies. So a wooden bead, a piece of floral wire, and some embroidery floss. I've picked a light bluish gray color for Sally's skin, and then she has bright, beautiful red hair, so I've picked some red for her hair. Now you want to get some acrylic paint that matches the color you've picked for her skin, because we'll be painting the bead for her head. I have a bamboo skewer here to help make painting easier, and I forgot to show a foam brush, but I have one of those too. Now, to figure out what colors you're going to need for her dress and um, you're gonna want to pick out your color scheme. I looked at tons and tons of pictures of Sally and there are a lot of different variations of her dress. Some are more muted, some are brighter colors. So just go online, look at some pictures, pick which colors you want to go with. Um, and from that base your flowers that you pick out for her dress on that. So I chose to do a black base for her dress and I'm going to be using two layers of this flower. It has kind of wider petals. Um, I didn't want to do too many layers of the skirt because we don't want it to be really fluffy. Um, Sally had a pretty basic dress on. So then I've got flower petals to make the patchwork design on the front of Sally's dress. So I've got some turquoise, some yellow, and some purple. And then I've got some embroidery floss to match those. And you could, this is a great time to use leftover flower petals from other projects. I've got my glue gun set on low, and I have a couple different pens, a Sharpie, and then I have a paint pen that works great on fabric to help us create some of the designs on Sally's dress. And I also have a sharp pair of scissors. All right, let's get started. So the first step is to paint your bead. So I'm going to take a little bit of the paint. I'm going to put the bead on the bamboo skewer to help stabilize it while we're painting it. And I'm going to take a little foam brush and just add an even layer of the paint onto the bead. And once I have a layer, an even layer on the bead, I'm gonna set it over this little bowl, which helps it to dry and keeps it from rolling around while it's wet. And once it's completely dry, I'm going to add another coat of the paint and we are ready now to add some markings onto Sally's face. So I'm going to take a fine tip Sharpie and I'm going to add kind of almost what looks like a smile across the bottom of her head with some little stitch markings and then another curved line down the left side of her face. Now in the tutorial, I actually forgot to do this part before I put her body together. You definitely wanna do this before you assemble your doll because I promise you it's like a million times easier. So you can see here she doesn't have her markings on her face yet. I had to go back and do that later. I promise it's a lot easier if you do it in the beginning. So now I'm going to twist my doll together using that wooden bead, the floral wire, and the embroidery floss. And then I'm going to take that blue color and I'm going to um, wrap my doll's body. So if you've never made fairies with me before, please check out my basic fairy doll tutorial. I'll put a link up in the corner and down in the comments below in that I go through all of the steps, um, very basic steps, and show you in detail how to put this doll together. So this is at the point where I realized that I hadn't put the markings on her face. So I added them at this point. You can see it's a lot trickier doing it now than it would have been if I had remembered in the beginning. So she's got that smile and then kind of the markings down the left side of her face. Now I'm going to dress Sally. So Sally's, the top of Sally's dress has a very patchwork look to it. So to achieve that with our embroidery floss, we're going to do little sections um, with the colors. So I'm gonna take the turquoise first. I'm gonna start right underneath her arms and I'm going to wrap around just her left sleeve. And you'll also find more detailed instructions on how to dress your fairy in that basic fairy doll tutorial. You can see here, I just did a sleeve on the left-hand side, and then I'm going to continue wrapping down to create a little pair of shorts. And also, um, we're gonna leave a little bit of that turquoise showing um, at, around her bodice because uh, it's turquoise just above where her skirt starts. 
You can see I've got the sleeve and the shorts and now I'm going to take my yellow and I'm going to create a sleeve on the right side and then we're gonna put some yellow on the left side of her dress. So a little dab of glue right underneath the arms. I'm gonna create that sleeve just on the right hand side, the same way we did with the turquoise. And once we finish the sleeve, we're going to wrap from underneath her right arm to over her left shoulder. Which is just giving us that little pop of yellow on the left side of her dress. Little dab of glue, I'm gonna tack that down. And then we're going to add this purplish uh, color to the right side of her top. So I'm actually gonna flip my doll over and I'm gonna start right in the back. I'm gonna put a small dab of glue because we, we don't want a lot of this color showing. We just want a little pop of it on the side of her dress. So I'm starting it right in the back and then I'm wrapping from underneath her right arm to over, or underneath her left arm, sorry, to over her right shoulder. And then once I've wrapped that a few times, I'm going to add another dab of glue, trim that off, and we have the top of Sally's dress done. You can see we've got a turquoise sleeve on the left, yellow sleeve on the right, and then we've got some pops of color on the left and the right of her top, and then blue on the bottom part of her dress. Now I'm going to create some shoes and socks. So I took some white, I'm starting just a little ways up her foot. We're gonna do the socks first, so I put a small dab of glue and I wrap up in an even layer and then back down. I'm gonna do that on both sides. And then I'm going to take the black and I'm going to start right at the bottom. I'm gonna put a dab of glue on the bottom of her foot and kind of fold that embroidery floss over the tip of her foot and wrap that up to where the white starts. But then I decided to add, I kind of wanted it to look like she had stripes on her socks. So I'm just going to add a little, like a couple layers of the black, wrapping that around evenly to make it look like she had striped socks. So you'll do that on both sides and now we're ready to create Sally's dress. So we're actually going to make six separate patches that we're going to apply to the black base of her dress. And to help me kind of figure that out, I looked at this picture and then I kind of drew out the basic shapes for the patches that we're going to make. So you can see we have six separate patches here. And I used those shapes as a guide to create the patches. So the first one we're going to make is a black one that has purple stripes on it. So I took one of the petals from my black flower and I cut it into this geometric shape. And then to that, I'm going to take pieces of the purple flower and I'm going to cut these into what will be our stripes. So I'm just taking a few of the petals and I'm cutting them into the stripes. I really liked the idea of doing the patchwork all with flowers. Um, it, I, it took me a really long time to figure out her dress and this is what I ended up liking the most. Um, I liked having her entire dress be made of flowers. So I'm taking those pieces of purple and I'm just creating the stripes on this black petal. So this is our first piece of patchwork for the dress. So I'm just applying all of the different layers of the purple, the stripes, and don't worry um, about them hanging over the edge. After they're all applied, flip the petal over and then you can just trim off the pieces of the purple that are overlapping. And ta-da, we have our first piece. Now we're going to use this purple and black piece and attach all of the other pieces to it. So in the end, we'll have one piece that will attach to the front of her dress. So I'm going to take a piece of this yellow petal and we're gonna be gluing these all together. So I'm actually going to trim it a little bit and then glue my purple and black piece directly on top of that. So get it where I want it, add a dab of glue. We're gonna tack that together. And then you can go back and tweak it and trim it up. And I decided to add a little bit of um, some little cuts and make the ed edges look jaggedy so that her dress looks kind of tattered. Just hold it up to your doll, see if you like how it looks. 
and then go ahead and add your next patch. So the next patch is also a piece of the yellow and it's gonna go on the right side of that purple and black. You can see we're just attaching them all together. So I cut another geometric shape and just kind of tweak it and trim it until you have the shape that you like. And this was more of kind of a just rectangle. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the jaggedy edges. And then I'm going to tack those three pieces together and I'm going to hold it up to my doll. Now I actually already added the first layer of my doll's dress. It was just one of the layers of the black flower that we're using for the base of her dress. And for more detailed instructions on how to basically dress your doll, check out that basic fairy doll tutorial. Now I'm going to do the turquoise patch. So I'm going to take a piece of this flower and just cut it into almost a diamond. And then we're going to put that right above the purple and black patch. Tack that down. And then I'm going to grab my black flower and I'm just gonna cut a rectangle out of that. Uh, before I glue the black one down though, I'm going to hold all of the patches up and kind of arrange them where I want them because we're gonna tack that down before we add the black patch. So you can see that just kind of fits over them. And then if you want to at this point add any details, I'm taking my fabric marker and a Sharpie would work fine for this too. And I'm adding some polka dots to this part of her dress because the different patches had different patterns on them. And so you can go in and add as much detail as you'd like to this part. So I just went in and added some random polka dots onto this little patch. I'm also going to get my Sharpie and I'm gonna go ahead and add some more detail to the other pieces of the patchwork. So to the yellow, I'm adding more of a plaid look on one side and some little dots on the other side. And this is all just up to your imagination. And the last patch we need to create is a little tiny yellow one that we're gonna put on top of the black and purple. So I'm just cutting out a tiny little diamond shape and placing that on the black and purple. Once we have that all pieced together, I'm gonna to go in and add a little bit of detail right now by adding some stitches along the edges of all of the pieces of patchwork to make it look like it's stitched together. And this is our finished piece. So we're ready to apply this to the front of her dress now. So I'm going to hold it up to my doll. And remember, I've already got a black layer of the flowers around her waist. Um, I did one layer and then I decided I actually wanted another one. So I have two layers of the black petals as the base of her dress. And I'm going to decide where I wanna place that. Tack just the top of the turquoise part onto the black. And if I like how that's laying, I'm gonna go ahead and finish tacking that down. So you can see by putting all of the pieces of patchwork together, in the beginning, it's easier to apply it all at once to her dress. And then once I have that all tacked down, I'm taking that last black piece and it's gonna kind of tie everything together. And I'm going to glue that over the top. And then I'm gonna go back and add a few more stitches to all of our pieces of patchwork. So at this point, you can go in and add any other details that you'd like. Now, the last step is to style her hair, and styling hair is usually the hardest part. Take your time, work slowly, and um, if you've never made fairies with me before, check back to my basic fairy doll tutorial where I go into a lot more detail on how to style her hair. I'm just gonna be leaving her hair down, so I tack it down at the top where the bead meets the floral wire, and then I'm going to flip it up and around and glue it down. And then just continue to work slowly, smooth it down as you go and add tiny dabs of glue to tack the hair down so that it lays the way that you like it. And that's it guys, you're all set.
Sally from The Nightmare Before Christmas. I hope this tutorial gave you some inspiration to create your own Sally fairy doll. Uh, there are a lot of different ways that you could do this, a lot of different colors that you could go with. Um, so I hope that this helped out. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. That would be awesome. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure and give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments or questions, post those below. Also check out some of my other fairy doll tutorials and in the comments below, I'd love to see what fairy dolls you'd like to see in the future. So thanks again guys for watching and we'll see you next time.